Hi, and welcome back. So in the last video, we got our Simple Social Media uh, web page up and running uh, in FastAPI. Um, we have our database uh, using SQLite, and we got our uh, models um, our models and schemas done using uh, Pydantic. So in this video, let's uh, continue, and we're gonna start setting up the front end using HTMX and Jinja 2. So let's get started. So the first thing we'll wanna do is, let's open up our index file here. So the way where you do this with Jinja 2 is what we'll want to do is we'll want to view all the posts that are currently coming in. You know, we'll loop through all the posts that we have and then uh, put the put the uh, you know the post text on the website. So the way we can do that on Jinja 2 is we use these curly braces uh, and then the uh, I guess the percentage sign, and then this will open up a um, a uh, a block of code here. And kind of what I use for reference is uh, you can just Google the uh, Jinja to cheat sheet. And then this will kind of give you all the, uh, all the uh, you know, Jinja 2, uh, you know, blocks that you need. So what we'll be doing here is doing a loop. So we want to loop through um, all of our post. So we'll say for uh, post in post. And what we want to do here, um, we also want to do a, uh, the, uh, an end for. Uh, so we have to, you know, we have to put this N4 on there to, you know, put this there that is done. So I'll go ahead and just uh, do that now so you don't forget later, N4. So we got that there. And then we'll go through here and then we'll say, okay, for each post, what do we want to do? Uh, let's just do a small heading H3 block here. Um, and again, we'll want to put the, the heading post. So to do that, we'll do these double double curly braces and just do a post dot uh, post title. And the thing is, make sure you leave spaces in between these uh, curly braces. Otherwise, uh, Jinja 2 won't be able to render it correctly. Um, so the next thing, and then we'll just put a p tag, and we want to put the uh, post dot post text. Right, I believe that's what our schema had. Let's uh, open up our models so we can just validate versus our uh, schema real quick. Uh, yeah, post text and post title. So that, that's what we want to we want to use here. Okay, so before we can get going with this, though, we have another issue. Um, so right now we're passing nothing into our context. Um, so. We'll need to give it some information here. So the way I'm going to set this up is we're going to say um, our default context is just going to be a uh, dictionary. And again, we're going to have uh, the post is going to be uh, just a list of posts. So we'll do a list of posts. And then we'll say, uh, you know, the first post will be, uh, you know, post title. Uh, this will just be a uh, test. And then the uh, post text. Again, we'll just do uh, whoops, post text. Okay. So now we should be able to go through and run this. So let's go back here to our simple social media and try to refresh the page. And we got an error. Okay, so I figured out the error here. So um, Actually, I forgot to put this four in front of here, so it should be four post in post here. Uh, so whenever we go ahead and do that, again we can see we get the uh, the post and the text post to come up here. Uh, so that's great and all, but the next thing is we want to you know have that tied to our database instead of just using some uh, you know default that we had on here. So let's go through and uh, fix our app so we can actually return the database. Say. Uh, the context will actually, we just want to get all the posts, right? So let's get the post here. So we'll you do this. We'll say our post is equal to this. We'll save that there. Uh, actually, change that context. Actually, no, we'll leave it as post. So let's say post, post, and then we'll find our context and change this into post. And let's see how that does. And again, we get an internal error uh, because it has no attribute. Uh, so what we need to do here is uh, 
we can't just directly pass in the uh, pass in the uh, the uh, the model to it, the uh, Pydantic model. So we'll dump the model so that we'll dump it into a dictionary. And let's see if that fixes the error. Yep, and now we can see we're getting our database is loading up. Um, so that's great and all, but uh, let's get on to our form here. So we're going back to our uh, index.html, what we want to do now is have a form, right? Um, so we're going to have a form element here. And then we want to have uh, a label. And we'll call this the uh, post title. We'll give it an input block. Uh, type will be text. And we want the name of this to be equal to uh, post title. Uh, then we'll give another label. And this will be called the, uh, the actual post. And again, we'll just do a, another uh, input of type text. And this will be the uh, post text. And then let's give it a, uh, a submit button. Type is equal to submit. So that should give us a form where we can uh, upload new post. So let's go and make sure that uh, opens up correctly. So if we do this, uh, it's gonna do the default behavior, which is it's gonna you know put a uh, post request to the same same page that's on. Uh, but that's not the the default behavior that we want to do. So what we're gonna do is use a uh, package called HTMX. So let's pull up HTMX here. And so what we need to do on HTMX is uh, specify uh, certain attributes of how we want it to do. So uh, the route that we want to do when we hit the submit button is we want to go to our um, we want to go to our, our post route, right? So let's go to here. So whenever we do submit, uh, well, actually the first thing we need to do before we can even uh, we need to get the uh, HTMX code in here. So we can actually use the CDN. Um, since we're just uh, testing right here, um, you, you wouldn't want to use CDN in a production environment, but we can actually just get the CDN uh, and just paste it directly in. So we'll just go in here, uh, we'll copy this guy in here, and we'll go here and uh, we'll put it at the end of our body here, and let's just uh, paste that in. So what we want to do is um, we want to go and uh, we want to give it a htx post. So that's saying, hey, this is going to be a post request when we hit the submit. So on the form, we'll say, okay, we have an hx slash post. Um, and what do we want to go with that? Well, we want to go to the post route. Uh, again, recall that our post route is uh, defined right here. But what do we want to trigger it on? So the trigger event wants to be submit. So when we submit the form, that's what we want to trigger it hx dash trigger and we want this to be submit um, and let's see here uh, so what do we want to trigger um, well, what's our target so what we want to do is when we want to submit it we'll upload the post to the database and then we want to refresh the uh, the uh, you know this this section right here so we can actually wrap this in a div so we'll give this a div um, and we'll give this a uh, ID equal to, uh, we'll call this the post, right? So we'll give it the post. So let's wrap this in that div uh, so that we can target it. So we'll do that. Um, so we got that, uh, our HX, so let's put that in there. So our HX, HX dash target is gonna be equal to our post, hashtag post. And so the last thing we'll want to do is uh, which element to swap. Um, so we can just do the uh, the uh, inner HTML. So let's just go here and do uh, hx slash swap. And we'll just do the uh, inner HT HTML. Let's see, is it all caps? Uh, inner HTML, okay. So, that should take care of that. Now, before we can run this though, there's a few other things we gotta do. Um, so by default, it's gonna post the form data, 
but as you recall, um, our post that we have on our apps is actually going to request, um, it's actually going to need a post, which is basically going to be a JSON data. So we'll actually want to change the default behavior um, because we, we still want to keep it in a JSON whenever we receive it from here. So we can uh, utilize Pydantic and do model validation whenever we're using it. So what we want to do is do uh, HTMX uh, with JSON data. Yeah, post JSON data with HTMX. Um, and so if you go on here, uh, the simplest way to do that is again, just use the CDN right here. Um, and then once we have that, all we need to do is uh, use hx-ext for extension and just say, hey, we're, we're you know, gonna put on the header that this is JSON uh, data that we're sending over. So let's go back to our code and in our index folder, we want to again type paste that script uh, script in okay so we'll go through here and we want to do again the uh, hx extension so hx dash e extension and again we said we want that to be uh i believe as json uh yeah json dash enc json dash enc so that should be good on there. Now on the app though, the issue is um, we're gonna need to basically re-return, uh, you know, basically uh, the, uh, you know, the post, uh, the template response that we got for the post. So what we wanna do here is we just wanna return this, not the whole page. So actually what we're gonna do is let's create a new, uh, a new, uh, a new set of, a new, uh, a new template code. So we'll say, uh, so let's go into our templates folder and create that. Uh, so I'm gonna cd into the templates. And then uh, let's create a new one called post.html. And then let's code uh, that post.html. So here's here. Uh, so we'll wanna go back on our index here and uh, we'll just wanna get rid of uh, all this right here. Uh, so let's just do this. And then we'll go into our post put it here, and then we'll save it here. But now the thing is, whenever we load the post in, this won't work. So actually what we can do on here is actually say uh, hx-trigger, and this one will be on load. Um, we'll do hx-get, and what do we wanna get? Well, we wanna get that page we just created. So we'll do forward slash post. And then uh, we want to do the HX swap. And again, we just want to do the inner, inner HTML. So let's just go and verify that um, that's still working. So let's go back to our website here. And let's just verify this still works. Oh, uh, let's see, so it works, but we're getting it in the form of a, uh, form of a uh, bunch of a, uh, HTML, so that's not what we wanted here. Uh, so let's go and figure out what we're doing here. Uh, uh, oh, that's because uh, we called we called post directly. So this is actually uh, we need to return uh, an HTML response here. HTML response. Um, so oops, on this one we want to return an HTML response on our get request. So here's our post. So we got the post right. So here's our post. Let's go to that. Um, and now we want to do the same thing that we did on the home, right? So we want to return, uh, and actually the template request to press a, a request parameter. So let's add that in here as well. So we want to get a uh, request, yeah, type request. So let's get that in here. Um, and again, we're going to return return templates dot template response request. And then what do we want to do here? Well, we'll say, okay, we want it to give uh, our, our post, post.html. And we want the context to be equal to our post again. Um, and then again, we'll need to do model.dump, model dump. So now let's go back and see if that works for us here. And there we go, we're getting it back again. Uh, so that's working. 
Uh, so the next thing we want to do is we want to get this post request. So whenever we hit these post and then press submit query, we want that to uh, repopulate these lists of posts for us. So let's go back to our code. Um, so we'll need to go back again on this post. So like the same thing, we, instead of this being a JSON that we're returning back, we're going to return back an HTML response. And again, we're going to need to request uh, a request in here. So after we do this, again, we're going to basically return back the same thing here. We're just going to copy and paste this here, right? So once we insert the post, then we're going to go get the post again from the database and then return that return that back into our template. Um, so the only thing is wrong here is that our post will actually not contain a user ID. So we'll actually need to make a, a schema change here. So if we go back to our models, uh, we're going to make a new class called a user post. Um, we'll put that underneath the main post here. Actually, we'll put it right here. So we're going to have a class called a user post. And again, it's going to be the base model. And it's going to be the same thing as this post, except we're just going to have uh, these two records instead of, uh, you know, without the user ID. And now here, what we can do with our post is actually we can just inherit from the user post. And so that will give us uh, access to these two, and then we'll just um, add the user ID onto it. Um, so that should all work out for us here. Uh, so what we'll need to do here is um, eventually what we're going to have is uh, when we come in, we'll be as a signed in user. Um, but you know that's going to require authentication. So for right now, let's just say uh, we're going to be uh, the user ID. It's just going to be the one. So we'll just assume that we're uh, user ID number one wherever we go on here. So we're going to insert a post here, um, but this again, this is going to be a user post uh, because we don't have that user ID um, on our on our field here. So let's again, let's go and uh, import that in. So we want this to be a user post. Um, so we have our user post, and but before we can do that again, it's going to be expecting that user ID. So what we want to do is we want to create a post. So we're going to say it's a uh, post and we're going to say the user ID is equal to user ID and then for the uh, rest of them we can just uh, kind of uh, do uh, some dictionary unpacking of our post dot dump model model dump and then we can uh, basically create it from there and then we can just insert the post um, and then we can get the post back and then we can re return back the uh, return back those posts into the uh, into our uh, response so this should work out for us so let's see if we can um, go and make that request on here so I'm just going to refresh this real quick um, so I'm going to say uh, test from the website posting and let me zoom in because you probably can't even see this so posting from from the website and let's submit that and then we can see that we indeed uh, got it to post right here and everything looks okay. So that's going to set up for, um, you know, how to kind of set up the simple front end. Um, again, we'll, we'll keep um, adding on to this as we go along. Uh, the next step here is uh, this looks pretty trashy. So we'll go and um, add some CS, CSS to this to kind of start making it look like an actual website. So I'll see you next time.